Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today's numerical is little bit different. We are going to solve a number problem number 6 and of course it is based on a convolution theorem of Laplace transform. Basically in our today's example I have taken one new function which is a sine term. So let's go through the problem number 6 first. <music> Find Laplace transform following signal where a signal is x of t and it is a convolution between two different functions. The first function is sin t u of t and the second function is t into e to the power minus t u of t. This was the second function. Now we have to find out the Laplace transform given function according to basically first of all what do you mean by this? This is the sign of convolution. Means what? According to convolution theorem, first of all, find out a Laplace transform both the functions separately and then multiply it each other. So, first of all, we will find out the solution of both the functions separately and then we will multiply. Now, the solution. x of t is sin t u of t and convolve with t into e to the power minus t u of t. So basically, first of all, according to conversion theorem of Laplace transform, a Laplace transform of x of t is nothing but a Laplace transform of both the functions. But right now we are using a convolution theorem, which means what we are going to do? We are going to find out a Laplace transform of both the functions individually or you can say separately and then we will multiply with each other or you can say convolution theorem of Laplace transform you can say that it is the product of Laplace transform of both the functions that we are going to solve separately which means find out a Laplace transform of sin t u of t separately and then Laplace transform of t into e to the power minus t u of t separately and then multiply them with each other. So what I am going to write a Laplace transform of sin t u of t multiplied with Laplace transform of this function. Now Let's say this is my equation number 1. First of all, I'll find out a Laplace transform of sin t u of t. Now, we have studied this formula of Laplace transform of sin t u of t. And it is, if the function is sin a t, I'll write down over here the formula of sin a t u of t. The function was, sin a t u of t Laplace transform is a upon s square plus a square was the formula where your a in this function your a value is 1 so I will write here 1 whole divided by s square plus just compare here your a value is 1 so I am going to write here 1 this is our equation number now I will find out the Laplace transform of this second function. What I am going to do? We are going to find out the Laplace transform of t into e to the power minus t u of t. First of all, I will find out Laplace transform of t to the power minus t u of t. Now we have studied one formula. Laplace transform of e to the power minus t u of t. Using frequency shifting property, u of t, a Laplace transform of u of t which is 1 by s and this s is delayed by, now here the constant value of t is minus 1, so here I am going to write plus 1. Now, if we multiply this whole function with t, which means we are using a frequency differentiation property. And we know that, if I consider this is my whole x of t, then this function will be t into x of t and we have for derived one formula of t to the power n t to the power n is nothing but it is the n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1 means what here this is our 1 upon let's consider 1 upon s plus 1 is this s plus 1 is considering i am considering this is nothing but my s now according to this formula t to the power it is nothing but n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1 
So here, if this is my S, then this is going to be n factorial, which is one factorial here. The power of t is one. Means what here? N value is one, and one factorial is always one. But in the denominator, we have s raised to n plus one. Here, n value is one, so one plus one is nothing but my so it will be a square so laplace trans of t e to the power minus t u of t is now 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square and this is my equation number 3 now let's substitute equation number 2 and 3 in equation number 1 Now, substituting equation number 2 and 3 in equation number 1, what we will get? This is the Laplace trans of x of t which is represented by x of s and the Laplace trans of sin t u of t is 1 upon s square plus 1 whereas the Laplace trans of t into e to the power minus t u of t is 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square. Now, what is the definition of convolution theorem of Laplace trans of it is nothing but the convolution of any two function if we want to transform it into Laplace domain, then it is nothing but the product of a convolution, a product of Laplace of two functions separately. So, these are the Laplace terms of two functions that we have to find out separately and then multiply them with each other. After multiplying, what you will get? Just multiply denominator. So, what I am going to write 1 upon s square plus 1 and into s plus 1 the whole square. And this is the answer of a problem number 6. So similarly you can solve any type of numerical based on convolution theorem. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.